Buenos dias, niños y niñas. Soy Juan Ponceón. My great, 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 great granddaughter, Ophelia, has told me to come here and tell you about my life. Estoy de Castilla. I fought with the Moors in honor of Queen Isabella and to get this vest. I have sailed with Christopher Columbus to America. And I was the first governor of Puerto Rico. When I was in Puerto Rico, I was a landowner and I had a very successful farm. When I was in Puerto Rico, the king and queen were on my side. So they made me, guess what? Da -da -da, the first governor! When they got a new governor of Puerto Rico, I thought it was an opportunity to go and be an explorer again. I got three ships that had 200 men, and then we set sail. On my voyage, there was a very large storm. It blew us all the way to another direction that none of us knew. We found a very large chunk of land. We so, at the time, it was just a normal little island. No one would care. Probably put some storage. But soon to be known as La Florida, also known as Florida. Did you know why I named it Florida? I named it La Florida because around that time in Spain, there's a festival called La Pascua de Florida. So, I decided to name La Florida. But when I came, there's actually not a single flower. Water! I need water! Oh, water! Water! People always thought I was looking for the sound of you. I never said I was looking for it. Did I? I didn't. I was looking for land. Not a fountain. Land. I was also looking for glory for the reward of the king and queen of Spain. Then, after I discovered Florida, I went back to Spain to tell King Fernando about my new discovery of Florida. Then, I went back to Florida to start a colony. After, when I came back, actually, something very sad happened. The, native, the natives got very mad about what happened. Because when I was gone, the people who were left in my place have been treating them very bad. They, they were very mad, so they started war. One of them shot me in the leg with an arrow with poison. People took me to Cuba to see if they could save me, but nothing was well. A few days after, I had died. So you've been listening to a ghost.